So here's a quick video on limiting equilibrium and we have to work out the frictional force applied to this ring here. So what are the forces? Well we know it's 0 0.6 kilograms this ring uh, so its weight is 0 0.6 g newtons and um, we know the friction is going upwards because it's on the point of sliding down the rod which is really odd actually that tells in the second part of the question because they actually ask you about frictional force in the first part of the question. So not a great question but anyway um, and you've got this string pulling this uh, ring up. So the vertical component of the force, uh, the pulling force of the string, is 5 cos 30. So 5 cos 30 plus the friction are the two upwards forces, which are balanced with this 0 0.6 g newtons going downwards. So that's what I've written here. And then you simply rearrange it and you get the frictional force of 1.67 newtons, of course. Now, if you want to know what the coefficient of friction is, well, you know the reaction force is uh, simply 5 sine 30 because the reaction force is obviously reacting against the surface, in this case the surface is a pole uh, between the pole and the, the ring itself so what's um, uh, pushing the ring towards a pole it's this uh, string here uh, which is uh, how much of this force this 5 newton force is pushing it or pulling it I should say uh, towards a pole it's 5 sine 30 because it's pulling that way and the reaction obviously means it's going the other way but actually means the same size of force so 5 cos uh, so 5 sine 30 is the amount of force going that way which is the reaction force so since mu r is equal to friction and r is equal to 5 sine 30 rearranging gives you mu must be 1.67 which is your frictional force divided by the reaction force should give you a mu and that is it